Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're taking another look here at SUI, seeing what's going on. Uh, we've still got a lot of liquidation on the downside and also the upside. They're both continuing to grow. So we'll look at that, see kind of where that's at here, but also recognize that we may be reaching either a double top or a potential breakout, because this is somewhat of a, of a bullish pattern here where the price action starts to work itself into, um, you know, somewhat of a wedge pattern here. So again, it's not exact, it's not perfect, nothing ever is in crypto, but the truth is this could very well be a, a good breakout here, uh, preparing itself. But again, Bitcoin's showing a lot of weakness too, and SUI, even though it's done very well, does pull back when Bitcoin pulls back, uh, for the most part. I'm not, not talking about its recovery. Its recovery is always very swift and very good, but um, I do think you are due to find some success if you consider either A, waiting, or B, possibly considering a short. And I, I say that lightly, please don't walk away from this thinking that you need to go short this coin, it's not the case. But uh, the truth is, it's showing some signs that it's getting close to its top, and Bitcoin's not showing a lot of strength today, so there's those things factoring in. So just keep that in mind, kind of the back of your, back of your mind here. So let's take a look at liquidation, kind of see what's going on. This is what I'm talking about, this channel that we're in, somewhere between 165 and basically 195. Those are round numbers. But that 30 cent range here, we can see a lot of people trying to short, a lot of people trying to take longs. It's just kind of the way that it goes when you go range bound. However, we're getting closer to a top. And if we look here in the macro, there is a lot more liquidation on the upside than the downside. We got maybe 1.5 billion at 195. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see the price just wake up there once to destroy any late shorts and then just to catch the price on them right back down. Uh, again, it's hard to really guess what's going to happen next. And yes, it is a guess, by the way, folks, in this regard, when you get this high up, you're getting super close to its previous high. There's a lot of reasons why the price action is gonna be slowing down soon, mainly because when you retest a, either an all-time high or a local high, whatever you wanna call it, uh, there is essentially a, a slowing down period or a retracement period back down to key fib levels. So what we should probably do here instead of keep drawing out new fibs um, is to kind of just go with macro fib levels. You know what, I'll post that play out on our playout chart here in, in, a, in a moment, if you're not familiar. Cryptocash.tech is a website where you can register for becoming a better trader, but here is also a place where you can find all of my, you know, analysis and, you know, different scenarios that you can kind of help get a perspective on. So uh, playout charts are found there, future reference. So now that we understand kind of where we're at with the overall sense, um, you know, we kind of want to recognize that the price action is slowing down, right? So let's quickly look at a few important things here and recognize that we're still honoring our ascending trend. So by no means, if you consider shorting, you should take a short to uh, to zero or to 90 cents or something crazy like that. I think the probability that's pretty low. If you're going to consider a short, you're going to work within the range that, you know, that, that is established here so far. And as we talked about previously, it's that 195 to 165 range, or in this case here, based on you know daily candlestick closures depending on how today closes we've got a range of roughly 177 down as low as 165. so that little range there or we kind of got stuck in there for a while that's a that's a significant range for us letting us know maybe consider taking profits on a short somewhere the 165 range just as a you know this is more so just like a an abstract thought it's not necessarily the exact thing you want to do but again that's generally what you would want to do normally but here's the thing we're still over 70 in the rsi Money flow index is high. Even though stochastic's pulling back, the price is still going up. That's generally construed as like a bullish convergence. There's no real reason here, minus the MACD, that's telling us we're losing momentum, which is true, um, to take a short. Really, it's just kind of a high risk scenario, okay? Now, if Bitcoin makes a run towards the 50K range, of course, that's a different story. We will see a pullback. But if Bitcoin maintains its range, I really think that uh, SUI still has a great chance, great potential to continue to maintain its current level and or uh, continue higher, okay? So I do think we are gonna see all-time highs here in the relative near future. It really just a matter of when. If Bitcoin picks back up though, we can you can expect SUI to just continue to ramp up. Uh, we're still over 50 on the RSI in the four hour here. That's extremely beneficial. Losing that could signal potential reversal. Money flow index is right there with it and stochastic kind of hanging out. So for the most part, there's nothing bullish or bearish about that. There's kind of maintaining its positive trend which could effectively change, but MACD is giving us some false positives. I don't really trust the MACD when the price action does what it's doing right now. The truth is though, we see a very definitive resistance level here. And that's something we wanna pay attention to. But as I talked about earlier, you know, there is potential for the price action to be working itself into, you know, some type of ascending channel here, okay? So again, these do generally break to the upside. So this leads me to believe if Bitcoin can stabilize, we'll probably see at the very least a wick up to essentially destroy a majority of those shorts, more specifically the shorts at 195 to 196. Okay. 
So that would, that would make sense, all right? So again, it looks like a heart monitor, you know, when the, the heart goes boop, boop. That's basically what you see and you expect at liquidation events, okay? So we'll probably just do a little screw you guys and then the price turns around. That's generally how it works, but the consensus here is that we keep retesting this high here. There's a likelihood of breaking it. So I'm mostly bullish on this coin. I um, just want to, you to recognize if you're going to consider shorting or whatever you do, I would recommend that the, the margins stay tight and you, you don't get too crazy with, um, with leverage. Keep it, keep it small, right? Because a lot of people come over to my community after getting destroyed by some other idiots online, you know, the, uh, the moon boys, whatever you want to call them. And they consistently tell you to take 20, 30, 40, 50x leverage trades. Or they set that as a baseline, like that's the right thing to do. Truth is, in the market, the way that it is right now, you're better off finding a lot of small wins instead of trying to go, go for broke. And that's literally what you do when you take a trade uh, with high leverage or, or high position size. Like I feel sorry for some folks uh, that were taking longs with Dogecoin recently. That's a, that's a bad move. Uh, even though it definitely looked like it was going to continue higher, and I considered a long myself, I certainly didn't take a high leverage long. 5X is the most I do in altcoins, okay? And I use no more than 5% of my portfolio size per trade too. That way if things go kind of wrong, I'm not destroying my account. Anyways, easier said than done. So each, each Mocha Cloud, to confirm here, there's not really a lot of good signs here letting us know we're gonna break out or break down. It's kind of doing what it does in this range bound scenario. So until we break the range, we really have no consideration for long or short. That's really what it boils down to. Um, but again, from an overall momentum standpoint, et cetera, larger term, the whole thing, for the most part, we're seeing more bullish convergence here and a stronger likelihood of, at the very least, a, a wick up to destroy some of these late shorts um, and essentially just pull back after that, right? Either way, that's where we're at. Hope this makes sense. I described that correctly. Bitcoin runs, though, to the downside. Keep in mind, we are going to see something similar from, uh, from this coin here, okay? All right, folks, thanks again for your time. Look forward to seeing the next one. Oh, don't forget to take advantage of Bitunix uh, deposit, exclusive deposit bonus rewards. They have a promo this month. Uh, check them out. If you already used my link to register previously, you're, you're totally eligible. Just make sure you take advantage of that while you can. It's a nice little thing to do. Hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for your time. Bye-bye.